Salam alaikum and welcome from Saudi Arabia to the Premier League predictions. We are back, aren't we, Ben? Yes, we are here. Salam alaikum. We've got a City fan on. You've just beaten Tottenham. We'll go through that when we go through the City game. What a comeback, right? Unbelievable. How many likes are we going for today? We're going for 50,000. I can't get 50k. It's impossible. See how close you can get. If Ben Black has the power of his subscribers, <laughs> come over here, smash the like button. I support Ronaldo ever since he left United. I, I think it's the best movie he's ever made going to our NASA. It just made sense in he's changing football in this part of the world. You feel that in the stadium yesterday. Liverpool versus Chelsea at Anfield. Well, usually this is a top of the table clash, but it's ninth against tenth. <laughs> it's a mid-table clash. It really is. Either of these teams might not get Europa League. I don't know what they're playing for. I really feel like Darwin Nunes, his time will cut. He'll accidentally put two in the back of the net. He does all the right things. Yeah. He just needs to finish. They lost to Brighton 3-0. They beat Wolves in the cup. So they've had mixed four. For Chelsea, they beat Crystal Palace 1-0. And I really like the centre-back, Badi Achille. I think it was his debut last match, and he smashed it. Under Potter, I think they'll start to get results. They've got lots of squad depth. It's just a shame Jao Felix is out because he, he changed the game against Fulham. You know what? It could go either way, but I've gone 2-0 Chelsea. I know that's a bit wild, but obviously Liverpool aren't playing well at the moment. I mean, neither are Chelsea, to be honest, but something just says At Anfield, Chelsea. you think Chelsea are going to run away with it? I, at Anfield, does that mean anything anymore? Who, who's the player to turn out? I'm not confident in this answer. It was It's a very... It could go Give either way. Answer. Mason Mount... <laughs> Go for it. Ben, if you get this right, I'll be asking you for the lottery numbers. I I, <laughs> I can't see it. I what? think this will actually be a 2-2 draw. Really? I think both teams will be up for it. I can't decide who's going to win it. It's actually a great game of football. This game's got a draw written all over it. Let's go to Thog Dad in England. Let's see what he thinks. Now, last week, Bambino Becky, what a guest. Nine points, 11 points to Thogden and 14 points to Thogden. Liverpool have lost the last two. They look woeful against Brighton. Chelsea, meanwhile, let's not forget they beat Crystal Palace. That will have done their confidence a world of good. I reckon this is going to be low scoring. I'm going with home advantage. Liverpool 1, Chelsea 0. Down to the south coast. Bournemouth against Nottingham Forest. Talk to me. Are they going to finally win a game under Gary O'Neill? Because they just can't right now. They, I think Ryan Christie went out and said they're on good form. To be honest, I don't know. Nottingham Forest, they have not paid this much money to mm. not get results. They are winning I'm, games now. But they need to carry on until the end of the season. Steve Cooper goes into every interview now saying the same thing. Please don't bring up how many transfers yeah. are there. <laughs> he just gets cooked on the timeline. But look, let's think about a prediction here. Coming into this game, we're looking at the form. Bournemouth, they've lost again. They lost to Brentford, actually, 2-0. Forrest at home beat Leicester. It was a Brennan Johnson masterclass. One of the players that stayed from last season. So he wasn't actually a new signing. But Morgan Gibbs-White, you were roasting him. I wasn't roasting You're him. You're a mug. They paid a lot of money for him. Yeah, and he's we performing. Expect, yeah. That was a bad roast. I'm just trying to get him out because he's a city fan. I'm going to go Bournemouth nil Nottingham Forest one and Brennan Johnson is going to score again I'm really sorry to say that to the Cherries fans out there performances recently are not good enough they need a proper gaffer in there I'm sorry to say it I'm saying three nil Jesse, three nil. Jesse Lingard but it's usually their home form that carries them I know I've gone for a win as well but three nil is quite outstanding just watch Jesse Lingard's going to Jesse Je Jesse Lingard. That's the class incoming. Mason Mount, Jesse Lingard are turning up this weekend. Nottingham Forest have been in some superb form. And two words here, Brennan Johnson. What a player this lad is. And I'm thinking the way the teams are playing at the moment, Forest are just better. I know it's down on the south coast, but I'm going Bournemouth 1, Nottingham Forest Two. Time to go to the King Power for Leicester against Brighton. It's 14th against 7th. At the start of the season, did you really think the 7th club would be Brighton and the 14th be Leicester? No, it's all going wrong at Leicester and it's all going right at Brighton. For <clears> this <throat> game, I've gone 2-0 to Brighton. So you don't think Leicester have a chance? There's rumours that James Madison's going to be back. Leicester at home with James Madison equals results. What has happened to Leicester City? They won the Premier League seven years ago and now they just can't do anything. They've lost the last four games. Brighton have just been so good. They're, 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 they're unreal. Insane. Their last game they battered Liverpool 3-0. Like, like like with ease. And I know they've lost Leandro Trossard, but they didn't even play him in that game. It's about Mitoma. It's about Ferguson, the new boy up top. Yeah. 18 years old, bagging goals like that. You love it's every kid's it. dream, isn't it? Yeah, every, my dream. Under De Zerbi, he's just letting these youth players grow and become the next big talents. And Solly March, what a baller he's been this season. Let's let's not forget about him. Brighton have been sick, so that's why I'm going 2-0 yeah. to Brighton. I, I'll, I'll let you have that. This is where I look like an absolute mug. I've gone Leicester 2, Brighton 1. Ooh. It, you know what? It could happen. If Leicester turn up on their day, they're a very good team. It's just not happened very often this season. That's what... Oh, my God. I think the guy at the door just came to tell Thogden he doesn't know ball. Madison, he's going to drop a masterclass. Jamie Vardy is finally going to end the, the streak. He's going to score. After the Forest game, they'll want to bounce. They've had a nice break. So let's see what happens. But Thogdad, 
over to you. Playing a really good Brighton side who've won three of the last four, who look like they might get to Europe. So I reckon this could be a solid March masterclass. Brighton are good on the road, already won five on their travels. This is going to be Leicester one, Brighton two. Southampton versus Villa, 20th against 11th, the Saints. They are bottom of the Premier League under Nathan Jones. However, their recent results have been great. They even beat you. They beat you. Just, it's one of those games, like every, every team has its day. Southampton are starting to show glimpses of quality within their team. Do you think they have enough to beat Villa? Not quite. I've gone for 1-1. One, one. Okay. Like, I mean, realistically, Villa should be winning, but something just, I'm just feeling a 1-1. One, one. I think when both these teams are coming into this game, expecting a result. Southampton on the last three games, I believe they've not lost. Southampton went and lost five in a row. Then they beat City in the cup. Then they beat Everton at Goodison Park. They're starting to see qualities in some of their players, which is great to see. But for Aston Villa, they just beat Leeds at home 2-1. Since Unai Emery's come in, you can tell that they play with a real energy and fight. And that's why I'm also going to go, I believe I went for a draw. Here we go. I've also gone for a 1-1 draw. Do you think Thogdad's predicted it too? No, Thogdad's going to say something crazy. So I'm going to go Southampton 1, Villa 2. And I'm almost certainly wrong here. I'm excited for this one. West Ham against Everton. 18th against 19th. Two relegation fighting teams. We would have not thought that at the start of the season, would we? Not a chance. Like, this, this is a very surprising position for both of them to be in. Who's getting sacked first? David Moyes or Frank Lampard? One difference is with Everton, and I made a video on this, they've got a lot of problems at that club, from the board and the owners, all the way down to the manager. I don't think the manager's the main problem. It's just not a, a high enough standard to survive in the Premier League. You look at West Ham, mm. they do have enough quality. They've they got Declan Rice. Enough, they, yeah. They've got Skamaka up top, who they've never properly utilised. They've got Antonio. What happened to Antonio? Why is he suddenly just turned bad? They've got everything that you need in a Premier League team to definitely survive. They should not be anywhere near that. So I think David Moyes should be getting sacked. He should walk. I don't watch them week in, week out. If their fans are saying that the manager needs to go, I'm with their fans. For some reason, I've written down that West Ham are going to beat Everton 1-0. And it's just because they've got better players. Once every so often, West Ham turn up. Like they did against Brentford, they beat them. So I think this might be the game where they just scrape a result. And it probably saves David Moyes for a few more weeks until they get battered again. I've gone for 2-1 to West Ham. It's it a could shame. go either way. It's a shame, right? It could go either way. Yeah. Everton could win this game 1-0, 100%. It's just hard to predict after seeing their squad. They haven't invested. It's a shame. Ben's had enough to say. An Everton team who've lost it on and off the pitch. And the scenes recently have been quite unacceptable. Everton fans stopping their own players from leaving the ground and allegedly attacking their own directors. There's no room for that in football. And that doesn't help the players. I'm thinking West Ham United won. Everton nil. This is probably the most important game of the day. Crystal Palace versus Newcastle. The last time Palace played, they drew to Manchester United. Elise, what a free kick. Mate, he is a baller. What a free kick. It was stunning. I, it was from such distance. A big moment for them because it would have been another loss and Palace won a very bad route in, in terms of their recent results. So what's gone wrong at Crystal Palace there? I mean, Elise had a good moment. But they're not creating goals in open play. I mean, they're not like in a relegation battle or something like that. Yeah. But this game against Newcastle, Newcastle unreal. Yeah. Like, seriously good. Yeah, like seriously good. They beat Fulham 1-0. And you could tell that Mitrovic, when he scored that goal, he thought he'd done it against his old club. The ref pulls it back and says, that, mate, the ball hit you twice. It doesn't happen very often. It was a funny moment. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I didn't know what the rule was. Did you? No. Is that a retake of a penalty or is that a free kick? Oh, okay, we'll go with that. Crystal Palace at home, unreal. Yeah. I think at home, they have a very, very good support. I think Newcastle are going to win. So I've gone 3-1 to Newcastle. 3-1 to the Geordies. Yeah. Big prediction. Almiron Masterclass, who are you feeling? Almiron Alexander on Isaac. fire this season. Yeah, actually, Almiron goal for sure. I'm going to go Palace nil, Newcastle 2. And it's just that worry that the boys from, uh, from South London don't score enough from open play. I don't think they're strong enough at the moment. I really want them to, to recover their form. But, and people always roast me saying that I predict against them. I just think Newcastle are better and they constantly keep clean sheets. They've got a great defence. I think Callum Wilson is going to be the man to drop a masterclass. Let's see if it happens. Newcastle, as we know, only w lost once all season. They're coming here with confidence. They're looking for a Champions League place. I reckon this is going to be Crystal Palace nil, Newcastle United one. Get Isaac on the pitch from the start. He'll bag another. Over to Ellen Road for Leeds against Brentford. This is 15th against 8th. And I just feel as if the Bees are on another level this year. Even without Ivan Tony, they're dropping masterclasses. I know they've got him back now. And we don't know how long he's going to be around for. So he's probably just going to continue to score goals, isn't he? I absolutely love Brantford. It's a very well-run club. Absolutely great manager. Griffin Park, they were in League 2 just a few years back. And I yeah. was at the games, loving it when they were playing against bloody Stevenage or whatever. <laughs> and now they're, 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 they're in the Prem. They've got a new ground. 
so many new players and everyone's and, shining and, and improving. What? They're not just surviving in the Prem. They're thriving in the Prem. Yeah. But let's talk about Leeds. Every week seems like a final for them because it yeah. matters so much. They just need to win. This is a crucial game. You've got to win Brentford at home. Patrick Bamford is back and he scored a goal. I tell you what, that lad Gnonto, I've probably pronounced that wrong, looks like a real prospect. Who do you think is a better team? Who's going to get the win? Oh, it's, it's, it's a tough one, but I'm going to go for Brentford, actually. But Leeds at home, I think that's a big advantage. Leeds at home Leeds. help a lot. Yeah. It, it helps a lot. That that's what worries me because I've predicted 2-1 Brentford. Oh, I've literally predicted the same 2-1 to Brentford. Let's shake on it then. Shake on We've gone for the same prediction and again. This is going to be a tough one for Leeds United. Even though it's at Ellen Road, I'm going Leeds 1, Brentford 2. Second in the league, Man City against 16th, Wolves. I actually know where he lives. He actually lives closer to Wolves than Manchester. Both Thanks. my parents were Man yeah. City fans. Fine, I had a Man fine. City t-shirt before but that, we got uh, that, bought. that fact is not going to make you win the league. He didn't just dig into the players. At the end of the game, uh, I saw online like this article basically saying he was saying the fans weren't there. Like the whole organisation, we needed a big boost. So that's why... The fans weren't Wolves. there at City? That's a shock. No! I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be cringe and say what everyone says. I love Pep Guardiola. There's yeah. no way you can hate a manager Even though who has done all of this for Man City. Even though he hated on you. He didn't hate on us. He just wanted us to, you know, a little bit more on but he knows City fans are the best in the league. Regardless of who Man City play next, if Pep Guardiola comes out and says something like that. We're winning 5-0, regardless who we're playing. 5-0, bro. 5-0. Do, do you want to cut this out? Was that mistake? No, no, no. 5-0 to the camera. What? Harlan Masterclass? Yeah. Harlan Hattrick, Alvarez with two. I'm <laughs> also going for 3-0. I'm yeah. going for 3-0. Harlan will get a brace. Yeah. So, captain him on FPL again. I can absolutely see that happening. Arsenal edge it. But it could come down to the final week. United beat Arsenal. I think it's... It's, it's wraps. It's wraps. Then Pep's licking his lips. Arsenal's still got to play City twice in the league. Yeah, and that, that could... That's six, six points. points. They're great going forward. But at times at the back, they are a bit lacklustre. They've already scored 50 goals in half a season. But I reckon they might try and tighten up at the back here. So I'm going to give them a clean sheet against a Wolves team who will expect nothing from this game. I'm going City 2, Wolves Nil. Time for the big one. First against third. Arsenal against Manchester United. Both these sets of fans still believe that they can win the Premier League. Do you think United can still do it? Literally, as I just said, if they beat Arsenal, I think United, City, Arsenal, the title race is on. The problem with Arsenal is, and, and they needed Trossard, they signed him last night. Great signing. When you try to shift Martin into a striker, who's going to play left wing? You need the rotation at the latter stages of the season. You look at Manchester United, the amount of wingers that they've got. Who they can bench and rest and bring back. You forget how much depth they've got. I mean, City have definitely got depth yeah, as well. City, so. City. But it's not about how many players you have. It's about the players on your bench being of a high standard. So you still think City can win the league. And, and it will yeah. begin here with Manchester United beating Arsenal. Because you said it in the last one. I'm going to go with... Look, it's going to be a good game either way, whatever happens. But I'm going to say 1-0 to United. You don't think Arsenal are going to be fired up? And, do you know how yeah. they attack teams in the first five minutes, the first half and second half? You know yeah. they absolutely but go for it. United, but United are just going to hold them out. United have been solid at the you back. You think their the defence is good enough to deal with Arsenal right now? Who just went to Tottenham and won 2-0. Arsenal are going to be fired up and like there's every chance that they could easily just like smash United. I think United are going to be fired up for it. I think Rashford's going to score. I think Erdegaard will get just just run the game like he does. Yeah. The pulse of the, that Arsenal attack and I think a 2-2 draw is on the cards. You know one thing. Four goal thriller. One thing you're missing here which is probably the biggest talking point about this game Casemiro is not playing and he is vital to Man United but you said United 1-0 yeah, you Mark because I need it to happen oh so it's a biased <laughs> prediction they're gonna have 50 points after half the season that is quite incredible but they're up against a really good Manchester United team and if United win this suddenly people are gonna ask the question can they win the title so some wonderful players on display here can't wait to watch it Going with home advantage, Arsenal 2, Man United 1. Go to the comments now, predict Liverpool, Chelsea and Arsenal United. The person who gets it completely correct, 12k FIFA points. Also, I always check the accounts. You've got to make sure you've liked and subscribed on the channel. Last but definitely not least, it's 6th versus 5th. Technically, looking at the league table, one of the best games this week. Both teams higher than Liverpool, Chelsea. You've got to remember it's, that. It's crazy. Unbelievable. I genuinely think uh, Tottenham, they need to win. If Fulham beat them, Antonio Conte really? might just walk. He might just walk. Yeah, like especially like getting beat at home by your rivals and then going 2-0 up at City. And bottling that. Bo yeah. Four goals. They have to win. I'm fairly convinced that Antonio Conte's time is almost up. Not yet, not yet. I think he's got a bit more time. You've got Mitrovic, who's cooking right now. <laughs> I know his goal was disallowed against Newcastle. Even if he's out, Carlos Vinicius scored the 
winner against Chelsea. They've got a great squad. I'm going 2-1 at Craven Cottage, the home side. Ooh, I'm going to go 2-0 to Tottenham. 2-0 Tottenham. Top no, six no. bias, Ben. Well, Fulham are in the top six. It doesn't mean they're going to turn up. <laughs> Everyone needs to turn up next week. Every of the 20 teams need to turn up. Why That's will Tottenham? True. Because they've just lost two games on the bounce. You think Conte is going to sit there and go, oh, I'm going to take it easy against Fulham. Hugo Lloris is just making mistakes. Now Spurs need to tighten up at the back. In fact, they need to spend very big at the back. I think this could be an absolute cracker, but I'm going to sit on the fence and say Fulham won, Spurs one. We're done out here in Saudi. We've got the uh, Al Nasser debut to come. Two. I'm so excited for that. How I'm many buzzing. goals is Ronaldo going to get? He's going to score uh, six. If you predict Liverpool, Chelsea and Arsenal United correct together, 12k FIFA points is coming to you. Make sure you've liked and subscribed or you won't win it. You've been taking over YouTube recently. Nah, TikTok, the lot. Go follow him. Put it on the screen now, Josh. And that is Thank it. We're going to enjoy Saudi and we'll see you in a bit. You'll see him in the videos. Bye-bye. Take Ma care. Assalam. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs>